Previously on the Adventures of Smudge and Squeak, the little ladies got a visit from some surprise guests. Trudy and Moose wanted no part of it and headed for the hills. The zombies might be gone, but let's see what awaits the sisters this week on the Adventures of Smudge and Squeak. It's an exciting morning at Moss Mountain Farm. Moose and Trudy are up early. The sun is shining. The waterfowl are out for a swim. And the sheep are grazing. And today, Smudge and Squeak are going on a little trip. They're leaving the farm and heading to an undisclosed location. The gals are sure excited. They don't get off the farm much. Smudge and Squeak are visiting their Uncle Max. Max is their dad's brother, and he's going to show them how to become the ultimate defenders of the flock. They're ready. First, there's a new friend to greet them. Winchester is very excited about the girl's arrival. He's super friendly. And excited. And kind of playful. Excited. So they'll have to exercise their super power of patience. Back at Moss Mountain, the farm family is enjoying this peaceful day. Moose and Trudy are trying to spend a relaxing afternoon together. But Moose would prefer that the cameras leave them alone. He wants some privacy. So after a few attempts at running off the production crew, the lovebirds decide to sneak off together into the woods. Uncle Max's place, he's showing Smudge and Squeak the proper way to bark when they see a predator. Max knows all about protecting his flock. He's been keeping them safe for years. Right now, he's still not sure he trusts these young pups. Smudge and Squeak are apprehensive at first. 
but they take a look around the pen that Uncle Max patrols. Squeak is ready to go, but Smudge wants to learn more. She wants to be the best herd protector she can be. Guess who's back? But this time Winchester brought a friend. No, not the cat. It's Molly, one of Smudge and Squeak's other sisters. With Max keeping an eye on things, the gals enjoy their reunion. <laughs> then it's time for the sisters to get off their leashes. Molly shows Smudge and Squeak around the place and explains that Uncle Max just doesn't have a lot of tolerance for the younger kids. But he has taught them some tips that might come in handy for the next Adventures of Smudge and Squeak.